Welcome to this week's vlog. It's Monday, the 27th of August, 7.18 a.m., 76 degrees outside. I know, the lighting is terrible. Let me see if I can do something about that one second. We haven't filmed in this room in a very long time, so I thought we would hop in here. Um, these are items waiting to be tested. Uh, this is a snorkel mask. Uh, and I just need to go back. Uh, we ordered uh, a couple of snorkel masks this trip on the triumph with taylor and his wife we are going to be snorkeling um actually snorkeling so um i'm wanted to order a couple of masks and try them out and see they're the full face ones because i don't like the ones you put your mouth on um <laughs> i had uh, very um messed up teeth as a child and I wore braces and uh, had retainers and big huge mouthpieces for years so I don't like to have things in my mouth you know, like you but I don't very particular about what I do with my teeth so <laughs> yeah what am I doing right now I am about to do some work for work my desk is right here right here <laughs> um, and it's a mess it is full of papers and camera equipment and journals and files and battery chargers it's full and so what i'm about to do right now is i need to uh, work on some stuff for work and then um, i need to go get dressed and film my stitch fix because it is sitting right over here and came in and then i also need to film my um mint mongoose that came in But very, very quickly, I wanted to show you, I picked up something for Rob. Um, it's very hot here in Texas, just ridiculously hot. And um, when we are loading and unloading that truck and trailer, this past week was extremely difficult. It was very hard on both of us, Rob in particular. His clothing, is, his shorts are very hot, very heavy. And um, so I was trying to find him something that was much lighter weight, and I did. These I found on Amazon. They're by Columbia. Um, and they are super lightweight. They're warning this innovative product will make you want to go outdoors and stay there. <laughs> um, this has sun protection. That's not why I purchased it. Uh, keeps you dry and comfortable. This moisture transferring technology moves and disperses sweat away from the body for quick evaporation, keeping you comfortable during physical activity. Omni Wick Advanced Evaporation. So um, I just really wanted to uh, have him try something out to see if it's um, more comfortable for him. So that's what I did. So I got these and I got him in, I think, three different colors for him to try. Um, and this is the like the khaki color, a dark gray. Yeah, khaki, light gray, and dark gray. Um, so I'm gonna have him try those out this week and see what he thinks of these. I just finished watching Less Junk, More Journeys uh, video. Um, you should go and watch it. It was, I bawled my eyes out through the whole thing because I'm a girl and I'm a ninny. And you don't have to be a girl to ball your eyes out. That's not what I meant. I just meant that's, I'm a girl and I'm a ninny. That's what I meant. Um, so you should go and watch it. Um, I'll link their channel below. They're just, they're just such a sweet family. I enjoy their channel. Um, they're living a wonderful life and um, it's lots of fun. And I like to think that if Rob and I had not chosen this life, we would have chosen that life. <laughs> Well, I would have. He wouldn't have. He's not into RVs. <laughs> I am, though. So, anyway. Um, so, there you go. So, um, I need to get some artwork and some pictures and stuff like that up on the wall in my filming room. And um, I need to make it just prettier in there. Um, but I'm kind of... I'm one of those people, I don't just buy artwork. It has to have meaning to me. It has to be special to be up on my walls. Um, or it has to be something that, um, I don't know. It just, it, I don't just buy artwork. I, I don't know why I've, I've been that way my whole life. I've never been one to buy artwork unless it like speaks to me. If I'm walking past something and it captures me, it, you know, it, it takes me in, that's different. Um, but, um, oh, <laughs> that's attractive. 
<laughs> so like this wall over here, I have some picture frames we created. Um, <laughs> picture frames we created with all the kids' pictures on it. Um, my neighbor gave me a bulletin board that says family across the top, and I have things on that. It's just very special. Um, so, you know, I, that's, it has to be special. You know, this piece Devin made for me. Um, so it has to be special. So I'm looking for things that I wanna put on the wall. And Less Junk More Journey this morning had this, why can't I find this? because I'm looking in the camera. Ooh, there's some static in my hair. Um, they had a picture about tacos <laughs> and it just was perfect for us. So you have to go and watch the video to see the picture because it's so cute. I have an inbox on my desk that is six inches tall. I, I'm not even kidding, it's full. I need to address the items. So, <laughs> I, I don't like paper mail. I really wish it would just all come in the form of an email. <laughs> Anyway, okay, so there you go. I'm going to take care of all of that. And oh, I should have a rocks box in today. And um, I should have, my fashion will be coming sometime in the next few days. And what else do I have? I have a cause box over here I need to open. I need to, there's other stuff coming. I forget what it is though. I forget what it is, I don't know. Um, and I did want to apologize for my long rant about my nails last week. I'm very, very sorry. I was very upset about them. But I just sort of figured, you know what? They'll grow. Eventually, they'll grow. And uh, this hand is very, very short. And it's fingernails. Really, it's fingernails. It's like hair. They come back. Is this not the cutest dress ever? <laughs> okay, so if you'll recall in... Um, My fashion box, I'm sorry. If you'll recall in my fashion box, I got the striped dress and I absolutely loved it, but there was something about that dress I couldn't pinpoint. It was too long. That was the biggest thing. Um, it hit like mid knee on me, which is too long for me. And the sleeves were like a full on sleeve. They weren't a cap or a flutter or making the entire dress entirely too boxy for me. So I saw Samantha on um, Happily a Housewife in her vacation vlog, she had this on and I was just like, <gasps> ran to loft, it was $20. So I picked it up, had it sent to me, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. I love the, the change of direction up here. You know, you don't have to wear a necklace, but you could, uh, not this necklace, but the, the black and white stripes goes great with turquoise for a cruise. Uh, this dress is fantastic and I can throw a sweater on it, on with it uh, for chilly nights or around the cruise ship. I have my white Caslon jacket, my black Caslon jacket, either one would look great with this. So I'm very happy with this dress. This is exactly what I was looking for. So uh, I also picked up, there's another dress in that fashion box and I found an alternative. One second. Isn't it my most favorite style of dress? I, it makes me feel a little exposed. I'm not sure why, but it just gives me that feeling. This dress I do like and it was very inexpensive and it was done to replace the one in the fashion video which was very, very similar, but it was made out of like a polyester material. This one's cotton which is more in line with what I would want. Um, this dress fits, but I wanna lose 10 pounds before I wear this dress on a cruise. I don't normally buy clothes and keep them in hopes of losing weight. But I'm coming up on fall, I'm getting back to normal. 10 pounds lighter is where I normally am. So this isn't a challenge to lose this weight, it's getting back to where I was before I started the surgeries that I had earlier this year. Uh, preventing me from running and all of that stuff. So I'll get down 10 pounds and this dress will feel much more comfortable on me. Now there's one more dress. This one. This is very similar to the striped one and to the first Amazon dress that I had on. It's just, what is this, like a fit and flare kind of shift dress type thing? I don't know. This, I love the little embroidery trim here on the bottom. Another very inexpensive dress off of Amazon. I gotta tell you, these little cotton lightweight, they're excellent. This is what I like. Um, and I like that they're inexpensive so that when I'm wearing them on a cruise, if I wanna wear them into port and something happens, it's not the end of the world. I didn't just spend 
a hundred dollars on a dress and it get damaged so um, this is perfect so there you go I'm gonna link all the dresses below I don't get anything from you clicking on my link I just want you to get the dresses because they're super cute and so inexpensive cruises I do not wear shapewear under my dresses but I wear a like liner it's it comes to about here um, they're called shimmies uh, and I'll link those below again from Amazon as well it's just because I'm in a shorter dress and I'm on a cruise ship and sometimes they can go woo in the wind and I don't need to be showing my goods. So I do wear those underneath. So I'll link all that for you below. Anyway, okay, so there we go. I've just spent 12 minutes wasting your time. So, <laughs> so I hope that you like these and I hope that you understand. I really do like these subscription boxes, but I'm very particular. And as much as I love these subscription boxes and I love having a stylist and I love that they send me things I don't see or get to buy or wouldn't have picked for myself, I also like getting exactly what I like. <laughs> so, um, and at a better price often, if that makes any sense, I mean, $20 for a dress, that makes me feel much better about it. Um, a lot of the dresses and stuff from these places are in the $50 range, and I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I know that's normal. That's a normal price, but I don't know. I'm sorry about my phone. That's rough. I'm going to go pay attention to my wonderful husband. I'll talk to you soon. under there with some Swiss cheese and my bun. That's dinner. Oh, I'm gonna have pico de gallo and I'll show you the meatballs later when they're in the sauce because when they're not in the sauce they don't look good. Good morning. It is Wednesday the 29th of August. The 29th of August. <laughs> 75 degrees outside 721 a.m. Let me just say how is it the 29th of August? It was just the 29th of July and I was on the Carnival Magic. How is it the 29th of August? Oh my goodness. That's insane. Okay, I'm sitting here watching Dave and Brandy's excursions. You guys, they're a new channel um, and uh, they cruise and they're doing some weekly vlogs. I'm starting at the beginning with them because um, I met them on Paro DJ's live. And you guys know I love Paro DJ. Hashtag Team Carl. Gotta say it. <laughs> Um, and, um, uh, they will, they were on their live and, uh, I met them that way. And it's so fun. You know, when you go to these lives, when you watch a YouTuber live or you watch other channels and other YouTubers comment on their channels, you get to meet and see, like see a whole bunch of new channels. And I love, I love watching cruise vlogs. Um, I like weekly vlogs. So I like I like vlogs. That's really what I love the most about YouTube. Um, I enjoy vlogs and I enjoy, um, like I like to watch the unboxing videos, the clothing and stitch fix and all of those. I really like those. I just like YouTube. I really, really enjoy it. I enjoy it so much more than TV. Uh, we do watch a few television shows, but really YouTube is my thing. It's 7.36. I'm going to watch these videos, a few of them. Then I need to go edit some more. Then I have to get dressed and go meet Rob at the office and come home, take a shower, cook dinner, 
and um, go to bed. Oh, it's finally raining. Yay. <laughs> It's uh, 12.30, I'm about to get dressed and go meet Rob. I'm just excited about the rain. I love the rain. Just absolutely love the rain. But I was able to get two magic vlogs done today, which is great. So, yay. You don't like the rain, do you, sweetheart? No, I don't like it. Jojo, ECC doesn't like it. No, my baby. It's okay. It's okay. Yes. Good morning. Ah, I know, aren't you tired of seeing me in this? <laughs> it's comfortable to run in. Um, and even though I said I was gonna wear this under sweaters, and I am, for now it's comfortable in the house to run in it, not in public. It is 8.09 a.m. the 31st of, of August, 76 degrees outside. You are crooked. Let's see if we can. There you go. Um, I am just about to make a cup of coffee. One second. I did just get off the treadmill um, and I am just about to go take a shower and get dressed. I have some work to do on the computer and then um, uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to go get my nails done. All my complaining, and I'm sorry about that. I really went on and on about it and I shouldn't have it. Just, it, they're fingernails. First world problems. Let it go. But, that having been said, um, I, it's really bothering me that they're so stubby and short. I had to cut them all off, um, and they're still splitting and peeling because they were so damaged. Uh, um, I think I'm gonna do dip now if they can put like a tip on to kind of give me a little length. I don't want them long, just a little length um, to get me started so they look nice. So. We'll see what I end up with. And honestly, I'd like to put a little color on my nails. It's that time of year. This time of year, I want color on my nails. I want burgundies and pinks and even black and just different colors on my nails. So I may play with that a little bit. Good morning, long time no vlog. It is 7.52, the 2nd of September. Wow, 77 degrees outside. Um, I'm a mess. This hair is a mess, look. Boxes, let me let the cat out. I need to break those down for recycling, um, but our recycling cans are full, and I don't know about you, but I don't like to put cardboard outside until it's where it needs to be, because if it gets wet, it gets disgusting, and it's impossible to deal with. <laughs> um, what's happening today? Well, um, I just watched Marnie Goldberg's vlog for Sunday. Um, she is, a sweetheart I just I just love her she had a hundred thousand subscribers and she was <laughs> crying happy tears so that set me off um, you guys know I adore her I love her spunk I love her spark I love her personality I love her her attitude I just really I really like her um, she's a great mom too uh, wife mom influencer she's just one of those that i really like anyway um so yesterday i realized i have not vlogged in a while it has been a week it really has been a week um <laughs> we leave wednesday it is sunday and i am nowhere near ready I, the last i spoke with you i was off to get my nails done i do remember that i did have them done um she did a french manicure because she put the tips on oh focus uh, they're they're fine, you know. I have no complaints. They're they're very square. I'm I'm used to them a little more round than that, but it's fine. It doesn't matter. Um, it's it's serving the purpose they needed to serve. I have my pair of DJ mug this morning. You guys know we love them. So if you don't watch them tonight, which will be too late for you to see, but and then I think there's one more. So you'll be seeing this when tonight at 7 p.m. They're live now. I'm not sure if we'll be there or not. I get so confused when this, no, this will go live, so we won't be there. Um, uh, we will be back, but we won't be back back. <laughs> so, um, so you can watch the pair of DJ live tonight. 
um, on their channel at seven o'clock central time. So um, I encourage you to do it. And when, when they're in town and we're in town, we're always at the lives. So tonight will be the last time and they're gone for a couple of Sundays, two or three. I don't remember how many, they'll say it in the live tonight and then they'll be back and we always go to their lives so um it's an opportunity for all of us to chat together it's a lot of fun there's a lot of um creators that go to the lives so um i, I encourage you to go it's lots of fun Paro dj or d and j are very funny um they're such kind people and that's what i really like about them um they're just really genuinely kind people and for me that's important and Jay is hilarious man he can match wits with anyone I'm not like that I'm not witty like that um, Rob is but Rob's very sarcastic um, and then but Jay Jay is just funny so and Carl Carl's funny too so the two of them can match wits I just I can't do it I wish I could but I'm not like that okay a little more presentable you guys I hope you can get up get this dress I love this dress Go grab it. It's wonderful. It's very comfortable. The jacket's de-wrinkling. So I just filmed three videos, got that all done. Sneezing my whole, the whole way through uh, this. Oh my goodness, I'm sure you will have seen it by now, but this is from my cause box. Oh my goodness. I'm putting the reeds in that right now. Millie is out there letting me know that she is not real happy about being out there and not with me. She snores in pants through videos, so I have to kind of leave her outside of the room so I can film. <laughs> anyway. Oh, so pretty. Oh my goodness. I hope you guys have clicked on the link or gone to the website and gotten the style box. I mean the cause box because I love it. One of you sent me a gift and um, want you to know how much I appreciate you in advance um, but I did want to open this I have no idea oh I just put my hand in the ink I have no idea who this is from doesn't have any information on the outside of the box so um, there we go so I'm gonna open this Bed Bath and Beyond box. I didn't feel. Oh, that's so. Oh, it's too much. Uh, oh, okay. I'm gonna say your first name, not your last name. Carolyn, you're the sweetest. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness, you guys look. Oh, look. Oh my goodness. Oh, so sometimes you just want to drink them. <laughs> they smell so heavenly. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Caramel Pumpkin Swirl Bath and Body Works. This is the Gentle Foaming Hand Soap. <gasps> Thank you so much. Oh, that is so sweet. Chandler and I really like this kind. Him in particular. Okay, this is Luscious Caramel Creamy Vanilla. Brown sugar. Hmm. Yes. Yes. A hundred times. Yes. Thank you. That is so sweet. And guys, there's a candle in here. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at the top. Oh. Look, look at the top. Look, that's the new design for this year. Oh my goodness. Pumpkin pecan waffles. Oh. Yes. Yeah, smells so good. <laughs> look at that. Carolyn, you're the sweetest. You made my week. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. So my kids have this little thing. They always know what season it is by the candle I'm burning. <laughs> so, and I threw them all off last year because I burned um, the one that smells like a man. Uh, what is that one? I can't remember. Ma mahogany te teakwood, ma mahogany teakwood, one of those. And Taylor came into the house and he says, mom, I don't know what season it is. You're burning a man candle. <laughs> so that is the sweetest thing. Thank you so, so much. 
Oh my goodness. Now, I hope that this is your address. It's not complete on here though. So I have no way to send you a thank you note. Yeah, it's not a full address on here. Oh, I can't send you a thank you note. Oh, that's really gonna bother me. <laughs> Please email me. Please email me at itsourfenwicklife at gmail.com so that I can send you at least a note, an email thanking you. I really wanna make sure I have that opportunity. <laughs> Please. So thank you so, so much, Carolyn. You are the sweetest. Thank you. You guys don't feel like you have to send me anything. Please don't feel that way. Um, you know, I, I just, <laughs> oh my goodness. It's, it's September 2nd, it's fall, I can light the candle. See how that works? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah, normally I'd be decorated by now, but we're about to travel, so I, I can't, I, I don't have time to get it all out right now, but uh, I'm about to sit down at my computer and edit and light this candle. <laughs> that is what I'm about to do. Oh my goodness, you guys are the best. Seriously, I know YouTubers across YouTube say they have the best subscribers. They're wrong, I do. That's just all there is to it. <laughs> anyway, you guys, thank you so much. Um, I'm gonna have to end this vlog tonight. Um, it is Sunday at 5.36. Rob had to go to work. Um, it is what it is right before we're traveling. Um, so let me kind of give you a heads up on how the vlogs are gonna work for the next couple of weeks because they kind of change a little bit as we're traveling. Um, normally, I would do a sneak peek next week for you. Um, no, no, I'm wrong. Yes, I would do a sneak peek because we're only gonna be home a few days and then we're traveling uh, for the week next week. Um, so what I may do is just that, show a little bit of me packing and getting ready to travel and then maybe a little bit from the cruise. Um, not the kids, I'm not spoiling that yet. <laughs> um, and uh, just a little sneak peek from the cruise. It's a very short cruise for us. Um, and then, um, you know, close out the vlog when we get back home. Uh, so, of course, I'll show you the hotel we're staying in and all of that stuff. Um, so, I'm excited about this hotel. We got a heck of a deal off of hotwire.com. Serious, good deal. So, I'm very excited about that. So, um, we will be driving to uh, Louisiana, to New Orleans, and sailing out of New Orleans. That's a first for us. Um, and I'm so jealous because Taylor, Taylor has been to New Orleans and he loves beignets. And I was so excited to find out that they will have gluten-free beignets, but he explained that walking into the restaurant, I will be inhaling enough flour to uh, bake some bread. And um, so he, he really advised me against going into the restaurant. So they're gonna vlog it for me. They're gonna take the camera for me. Um, and uh, go in and ask them about the gluten-free and ask, you know, is it a separate prep area, that kind of thing. Um, so, but we just know from the fact that I went into Italy in Chicago and got very, very sick um, because of the flour permeating the air. So, um, I don't know, we're gonna have to see. So I really hope that I can try a beignet because I really would like to try a gluten-free beignet like you would not believe. Um, I have wanted to try beignets my whole life. Um, okay, that's not true since I found out about them a few years ago. <laughs> um, they look like a powdered donut. I mean, like a deep fried, yeasty, fluffy, delicious powdered donut, but we'll see. So maybe I'll just have to learn and make them here at home. We can try them together on the vlog. We'll see. So anyway, so I'm really excited. Um, so like I said, we'll have a sneak peek, a little bit of the travel. It may be a little bit longer of a vlog because we'll be traveling. Um, and then the full vlogs will air once uh, Carnival Magic is finished. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll get them out there as quickly as we can because I know there's a lot of you so anxious to meet Taylor and Sarah. Um, so, and I'm working on Rami and Chandler. Eventually, we'll get them there to uh, want to be in the vlogs eventually. Right. Thank you again, Carolyn. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for spending time with us week after week. It just means the world to us, um, especially through the vlogs where we're not doing a whole lot. <laughs> and you still watch, and that just means everything to me. So um, I really appreciate it. Uh, I, I am loving this adventure, this YouTube adventure. I really am. Um, it's a lot of fun, and I am meeting so many, we are meeting so many amazing people, and um, 
I never expected that. I really didn't. Oh, I'm going to get teary eyed. I can't talk about it. You guys are just the best. Do you know that? Do you know you're the best? But you are. Anyway, thank you so much for watching everything. I really appreciate it. And thank you again, Carolyn. And we will see you next week. Bye.